Hola guapa, ¿cómo estás? Esta comida es perfecto. Ah, perfecto. Una chica guapa con la comida guapa. Dos chicas guapa, tres chicas guapa con la comida guapa. And all the disciples aren't even here. And we called them the three beautiful girls with the three beautiful plates. Oh. I'm James Disciple Johnson, national president and founder of the world's largest Christian motorcycle club. And I've come to Guatemala to ride with the brothers of the Charter of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club here. We're going to learn about the unusual forms of transportation that you see in this country, so different from elsewhere. We'll hear about the security situation, the men who are armed to keep the peace for this beautiful culture. We'll learn about the Mayan culture and the history that has influenced the foods that you find in Guatemala. Guatemala has a rich tradition of tasty food that's influenced by its religious heritage and culture. You'll find out more about all of this in this episode of Riding with Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, Guatemala. The old Spanish architecture in Antigua is so cool. Here's a window. And what's inside the window? A restaurant. Calista, creative Guatemalan cuisine. I'm here in Antigua, Guatemala at La Adra Hostel. Let's check it out. The Adra Hostel is a great place to stay. It's certainly very inexpensive. And it's in beautiful Antigua, Guatemala, which is just a gorgeous old cobblestoned street. Let's go inside. Way up here, and this little staircase here. Beautiful. Me gusta mucho. One one thing we're gonna find out about the hostel is that they do offer breakfast here at Madra. French fries. French fries. Yeah. That's not breakfast. Sorry, it's about French toast. French toast. Yeah. Okay. French toast is. Well. Hopefully, there's eggs and bacon. Yeah. Well, let's go find it. Yeah. All right, off we go. Off to get breakfast. Hotel Adra. Oh look! Oh look! It's coffee o'clock. <laughs> Here we are at the breakfast restaurant. So this is where we get breakfast included with the hostel. And it's uh, quite beautiful in here. I like it. Let's go get ourselves some breakfast. In my opinion, this is what a restaurant should look like. Very clean, and you can sit here at the bar. And while you're here at the bar, you can watch them make the breakfast. El desayuno. ¿Qué tú más en su desayuno? I'm gonna have a couple of eggs and, and fried olives and fried platanos and a little piece of you know, cheese. Fried beans, fried bananas, fried cheese. Yeah. Queso uh, natural. Natural. Yeah. And. Uh, so these are some fried platano, platano frita, fried banana. Those are big for breakfast in Latin America. Here the lady is slicing some platano. It looks like we're ready to plate something. So it looks like she's getting some refried beans maybe out of there. Yeah, beans. Frijoles. Looks like some sauce. 
such. Sausage, salsa, and beans. And some fried platano. Platano frita. It's a nice plate. So while she's cooking, for the boys, let's look outside. This is the street corner here. And the block. This is the street that we're on. What I really love about this restaurant and all of Antigua is these ancient, ancient barred windows. You can see you got a wall that's a couple feet thick. Absolutely beautiful, and you'll find those all over. So they're allowing me to go back behind the bar here, just for a quick minute. She's got the salsa. The fried platano, platano frita. Mmm. These are some really pretty sausages. Look at those. Gorgeous sausages. <laughs> Tied with corn in the box. Very cool. According to Dreamer, what he's holding is like a banana thing. It's a banana thing in my hand. It's like a banana thing. It's like some fried banana. It's like, yeah, it's like a. Um, in a cup. Platano cocido. Platano cocido. Cocido. Yeah. What's in it other than platano? Platano is obviously plantains. Plantains. Cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamons and sugars. And... All right, here we go. The platano, whatever it is. First thing I smell definitely smells like apple cinnamon, but definitely that slight banana sweetness and also vulgarity. I don't, I'm not sure what banana smells like. Vulgar to me. Okay, I definitely feel like it's the uh, it's the texture of uh, oatmeal or cream of wheat mm -hmm. or flan, yeah. And it's also uh, phlegm, yes, cinnamon stick. Okay, and it's like the texture of uh, of oatmeal. It's the flavor of very slight banana. Obviously, but plantains don't have a serious banana flavor. And then, of course, the cinnamon and sugar you can taste as well. And it's very good. And it's called. Atol de lo. Atol de lo. Atol de plato. Atol de plato. There you go. So we're here in the breakfast place, and one thing I will give breakfast is that it is not uh, quickly made. I mean, they're not just going to whip something up and throw it on your plate. Yes, sir. You're going to have to wait for a while. You know what I mean? Made it from the house. Yes. If Mama made you breakfast, she would take this long. Yeah. Hopefully quicker. If Daddy makes you breakfast, that stuff's going to be done in about 30 minutes or less. Hola guapa, ¿cómo estás? Esta comida es perfecto. Mira, mira, queso natural, that's cheese, that's natural cheese. Some sunny side up eggs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Longaniza sausage. Chorizo. Chorizo sausage. And that's some salsa. Different. Queso natural. Some uh, obviously beans. Fried. Platano. Platano frita. Fried uh, platano. And uh, two sunny side effects. So we're going to eat this very typical Guatemalan breakfast. It's got longaniza sausage. It's got chorizo sausage. It looks amazing. I can't wait to eat it. And here comes the natural tortillas. And then the hot chili. Yeah. That's the tortilla, so it's going to make it. There's no for that. Machine. It's different. 
So these tortillas are very thick and definitely have that whole ground texture. Somebody smashed these by hand probably. You can see kind of the flour texture, almost like a cookie. There. It's beautiful. Are you supposed to wrap your food up in these kind of tortillas? Because they're kind of small. Or are you just supposed to bite out of them? This one is supposed to be Oh my god, it's got a sweet corn flavor. It's a pure corn. This is and masa. Yeah, homemade. Maize. This is the stuff that this area is known for and has been known for for centuries. Oh my god, that smells good. Thanks, Padre, for this moment so special. Thank you for sharing with nosotros de tu producción y tu sustento, gracias por nuestras vidas, gracias por este regalo de vida, gracias por este día, gracias por la vida de cada uno de mis hermanos acá, Señor, gracias por nuestra salvación, gracias por esta provisión que tú nos has dado, Señor, de ti ha venido todo nuestro sustento en nuestras vidas, Señor, te damos gloria a ti, bendecimos estos alimentos porque tú has provisto esta mesa, Señor, gracias, Señor, que sean de provecho para nuestros cuerpos, Padre, en nombre de Jesús, amén. 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 Ahora tenemos que ponerlo en Natural cheese into the tortilla. Put a little bit of this hot sauce here. A little bit of this ridiculously hot looking pepper. A little bit of beans. Let's try this out. Mm. Wow. That hot sauce is not ridiculously spicy, but it is super flavorful. These are those rancheros. Wow. The cheese is hearty and thick. The beans are full of flavor. The salsas are amazing. Mm. These beans are full of different things, hey, flavors. So this little green thing that you see, the beans are there. It's a plant called chipilin. And chipilin is almost like a sedative. Is it? So what it does, it just it eases and calms the stomach. So the house of the Let's try some of these eggs, shall we? So the beans actually have a sedative. What's the name of that plant? Chipiling. 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 Mm. We make the tea out of that for the babies. Those eggs are fried perfectly. I mean, literally crispy on the bottom, full of flavor. The hot sauce is amazing. Spicy. Now, I know you're curious about the fried plantains. These have a little bit of sugar on them, and they're very, very sweet. Fried plantain flavor. Mm. Very slightly banana. Almost like a fried potato, crunchy, sweet. Now, 
this is the part I've been curious about. Chorizo. Chorizo sausage. These are amazing. Mm. in the plantains. Wow. Amazing. A oh, wapo's here. I can eat you talk away. It's all right. I'm not going to be a bit. Linguinesa. Longanisa. Longanisa, Jenny. Longanisa sausage. This is our Lucia, right? Mmm. Wow. Yeah, Lots of flavor. Okay. Lots of flavor. Very little meat flavor, a lot of vegetable and uh, spice flavor. Mmm. Mm. Yes, Down to the fried yeah. platforms again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm going back to the best part. These tortillas, freaking amazing. We're going to grab another piece of this cheese here. Slap it right down on there. Some more beans. More of this fresh salsa, the Gallo style, and of course some more of these just ridiculously hot. Uh, we got on there too. Yeah, the other thing. What we've got is a uh, cheese, beans, salsa, and hot chili tortilla. There, and look at that. Look at those juices. They're just coming right off. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm. All those flavors. Mm. She's bringing us some more of the uh, papano juice. So El Wapo is complaining about the fact you cannot eat beans because beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you impart. <laughs> yeah, right. And that was important. Yeah. What you got there, a little taco? I'm right. doing a little taco with a little beef thing, longanisa thing. Why are you keep using the little adjectives? I know. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm it's okay, little buddy. I don't think that's yeah. important. <laughs> I tell you what, the little adjectives, they got big old, big, big, big. Big idea, look. Nobody did that. I did. Oh, I was making what? You didn't put any of the hot sauce on it. You don't even have any of the hot sauce. You no, couldn't even I handle can't. this hot sauce. No. Mm -mm. No. It's an actual stone ground container, by the way. That's what the salsa is uh, given to us in. They're all a little bit different, a little bit different in size, a little bit different coloring. These are actually little stone ground containers that we're eating these out of. That's a uh, chili sauce right there. That's legit. It's not that hot though. It's not terrible. I've eaten like big scoops of it. Yep, this is an amazing breakfast. Ask me if I want to eat fresh hot tortillas that are still steaming, and I'll always tell you yes. Awesome. More queso natural. More salsa. More of this ridiculously hot hot sauce. By the way, how much of this hot sauce are we planning on putting on? However much we can get. Can't get much on it. Straining it out so I can get the good stuff. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. But it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. Could be worse. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. That's all right. He's wet. Just with it. How's the hot sauce? It's good. It really covers your whole mouth with a nice, nice oil of steam. Hotness. 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 It's good because it's like another olive oil. Yeah, it is an olive oil or something, yeah. Right. The name is Cobanero, Chile. Cobanero, Chile. It's, it's from uh, the town where the name is Coban. That's why it's Cobanero. 
So the habanero chile will be coming out. Habanero with the bread. Habanero with the bread. Habanero with the bread. I suspect his logic there. Well, guys, what do you say to breakfast? Thumbs up? All the way around, a complimentary breakfast that comes staying here at the hostel. Absolutely amazing. I need it again. Yeah, we will. Like it out. <laughs> So this shot was taken in this window right here on the street. And as we were just sitting here, one of the guys said that if a hand comes in the bars and grabs the phone, we're all going to be running out on the street. So we better get the uh, phone out of the window. So one of the cool things here at the Adra Hostel is these cups. So these are glasses. And as you can see, they're made out of wine bottles. So these are very uh, artistic. And it has the name, the Adra Hostel, right there. So this is gonna go in my pocket to take home. <laughs> I really enjoyed the breakfast here at the Adra Hostel. It's amazing, it's amazing watching these hardworking people do their jobs, uh, taking care of all the plants, cooking the food. Everything about it is beautiful, especially the view out the window here. Um, I guess it doesn't look that beautiful in this shot. Okay, well I'm not good at taking shots. That's why we need Kink, the filmmaker here. Ah, uh, oh, the silence. Anyway, come and check out the records at the Opera Hostel. Nice. Buenas días, chicas. La comida fue perfecto. Gracias. Well, from here at the Adra Hostel, I'm James Disciple Johnson, National President and Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, the world's largest Christian motorcycle club. And we're here in Antigua, Guatemala at La Adra. Check it out. Check us out at DiscipleChristianMC.com. Read the blogs, watch the video, see why we disciple men to have a daily word and prayer time, and support the 1% Motorcycle Club World in Prayer. And if you love my beard, it's because you should go to DiscipleChristianMC.com and check out Motor Oil Beard Balm. Tested by bikers, loved by ladies. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Motor Oil Beard Balm. Tested by bikers. Loved by ladies. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Motor Oil Beard Balm. Do you want an awesome, epic, patriotic beard like this biker? Then you need Motor Oil Beard Balm. 13 all-natural, all-organic ingredients to help your beard grow longer and stronger. So you can have a great, patriotic beard. Because Uncle Sam needs you to buy Motor Oil Beard Balm. Tested by bikers. Loved by ladies. <laughs> Motor Oil Beard Balm. Available now at DiscipleChristianMC.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you see all the awesome free content we put out by rotating your device and clicking the red icon to follow our channel. God bless you. Thanks for watching.